Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello, Narlo. Good boy. We have just left Chief Watcher Grimbriar up here working on the Rogues Gallery quest. We need to go to a copse of trees to the west and collect the notes and bring them back to Chief Bri Watcher Grimbriar. Apparently a bandit leader is encamped somewhere to the west of the post here in an area of trees so let's go that way and see what we can find and once I have finished exploring the area and have found the bandit leader hopefully he'll be right over this hill we will see what we can find out Dodging the bears and boars, of course. There we are, right inside this, right next to the campfire site, which is unusual that you have a campfire so close to uh, a so close to a mob scene like this. Normally, they're at a little bit more of a distance because you know the campfires are these areas that the uh, hunters can use to make their. Uh, serve as a uh, mustering point so let's see if we can take out the southern leader here and find his notes Got him stunned because of our ability there. Plus, we're doing extra damage. Down he goes. Let's see if he has notes on him. He does. Brigand's note. Now, we will quickly hide back in the shadows again. Oh. Did we not hide? Well, let's try this again. There we go. And let us get past these brigands and back over there to Captain Grimbriar. Alright, that was not too hard to find whatsoever. And I think we're past where we're going to get discovered by the bandits. So we'll head right across the creek back to Grimbriar's. Bring him the notes and see what he has to say about the whole affair. We'll also take a look at them here right quick before we hand them in. See if they're another one of our readables. As so many of the notes and letters and all in this game tend to be. So let's see. Um, is that it? Brigand's note. Sharky has ordered that we all immediately step up our activities around Bree. No traders must move without paying off our people, and all the farmers must give us all the food we need. Forget about guards and garrisons, they are nothing to us anymore. Let the constables huddle in Bree and arch it so long as we own the roads and fields. Andrath is already ours. We will soon have all the land between here and our encampment at Brigand's Watch. Soon we will have all of Breeland in flames. And there's one more thing. The boss is interested in some hobbit named Baggins. Certain writers have been sniffing around asking for that name, and you should look out for it too. If you find any hobbit named Baggins, let me know at once. Hmm, so Sharky is now interested in Baggins as well. Let's let Chief Watcher Grimbriar know what can what's I do going for you? on. We have them now. This information proves that this Sharky fellow is intent on establishing a strong foothold here in Breland. It also tells us that their largest encampment outside the Vale of Andrath, at that place west of here that they call the Brigand's Watch. 
The brigand captain there passes orders on to his lieutenants that come directly from Sharky. If we can get those notes. Could I speak with you a moment? Sharky's plan. With your help, we draw ever closer to shutting out this upstart Sharky. We are closing in more and more on his location and the size of his force. We now know that the brigands' watch to the west of here in the foothills of Breland is a staging ground for future assaults. The brigands' captain hands out orders from Sharky himself to his lieutenants. Likely they are kept somewhere safe, a lockbox, or even on his person. We need those orders. Head to the brigands' watch and get those orders. So we have to go to the brigand captain's tent. Up in the brigands' watch area. And where that is going to be, let me pull up our map. It's going to be up here in the Brandy Hills. Right along in this area, we should find the brigands' watch. And if I remember correctly, I believe the captain's tent is up on top of the hill. In the uh, bandit fort area that you have to get into. So what we're going to do, I'm going to head south, get back onto the road, and then we will head westward until we get to the area where the camp is. And having done that, I will rejoin you at that point. Okay, we are here at the Brigands Watch. As I said, it's a hill fort, goes up on top of this small cliff right here. I'm going to pull up the map. As you see, it wasn't quite as far to the west as I thought. You head down the road, you get to Adzo's camp. Right before Adzo's camp, there's a road headed north across the Bree Fields. You take that little road, and it's almost just almost directly north of that where that road dumps you out. It takes you right to the hill where you see the um, palisade up there above it, and you just keep following, hugging the hill until you get to the entrance here. Uh, there's a dead bandit or somebody on, laying on the ground here as well. That I'm sure will feature in some quest in this area. Let's see if we can't use our skills to sneak inside and try to get as far up into the camp as it is possible for us. This little pathway here twists and turns about. But hopefully our skills will be good enough that we will not have to worry about combat until we actually get up to where the captain's tent is. I believe it is on the highest most point of this whole area. Cross across. I don't want to get too close to these brigands and all. They could still possibly sniff us out, although they are a few levels below us. And I see, being 15th level, we should have not too much trouble. Alright, let's see. Is it through here? I believe it is. Also, if you see this ring over here, that Maribel's quest, where we're supposed to rescue Maribel, she's being held right over yonder. I believe that's the cage right there that she's being held in. But we will not be taking that quest right at the moment. Alright, there's the watch captain. Let's see. If it's possible for us to sneak past him and get into his tent. Yes, let's see if they're on in that chest. If they're not in that chest, we may have to actually fight him. Let's see. Yep, he saw us. Alright, let's puzzle the captain first. Now we'll take out the other guy. And there's the telephone, as the captain's bodyguard or accomplice goes running off because of the amount of damage we've done. Let's go ahead and fight the captain now. 
that we can have him taken out of the way in case the other guy comes back. We've stunned him again with our abilities there, and he is down. Alright, the note is not on him. Looks like the other guy's lying dead out there, so let us check the chest. And there we are. We've collected the letter. Let's go out and find what's on this guy's body before the other guard comes back. And then we'll go back into sneak mode. Alright, we shouldn't have too much trouble getting out of here now. Shouldn't be any harder than it was to get in. Although the way the path that lady's taking there, it looks like she wants her autograph. Ah, just such is the price of fame. Alright, we're going to continue on down the hill here now. And hopefully we should be able to get out, like I said, through with these guards without any more trouble than what we had getting in. Okay. Now one thing you may notice off to the left here as we're going along, you see those crates. I believe that they are part of a quest in this area as well. You get a quest to uh, come and collect these crates that the bandits have taken from the merchants and all. As I said, there's a good number of quests that are available in this little area here that you have to do in the bandit camp. So I'm sure at some point we will see that quest and have to venture back here. And we are back here at Chief Watcher Grimbriar's house and we have brought back the stained letter. Let's take a look at it first so that we can read it. As you know, we've had some problems getting enough men to accomplish Sharky's plans for Breland and the Shire. All of Sharky's best, you and me accepted, are occupied in the south. What we got here ain't quite strong enough to take on the townsfolk straightforward. Fortunately, we've been given an opportunity. Orcs have come as far south as the Greenway. My friend says Sharky ain't on the best terms with them up in the north, but some of the orcs who've come south into Breland have been cut off. These orcs down here might be convinced to join us. Of course, Sharky knows how to deal with orcs, and these scouts from the north are no doubt in a bad way, since they can't get any more new supplies or warriors. This could be just the turn of luck we've been looking for. Treat the orc scouts well and tell your men not to interfere with them, or you'll be responsible for them being dead and all. Bill. Alright, that's interesting. It looks like Bill name? may be Bill Fernie. Let's see what the captain says here. More ill news. Orc men, could this be? This letter says it plainly enough. Sharky has a legion of half-orcs loyal to him that he is sending to Andrath. I have doomed my men. Let's take the shoulder guards. Might I take a moment of your time? The Vale of Andrath is Breland's gateway to the south. The South Downs, Dunlin, Isengard, the Gap of Rohan, all would be closed to Breland if the brigands are not hindered. It is clear that Sharky is no mere brigand leader. He has employed half-breeds to fill his ranks, a wholly depraved act. I sent my men to watch the ruins at Andrath and fear they may now be prisoners, or worse. Please, head south beyond the Greenway Crossing, further beyond the shadow of the Barrows, and seek my scouts, Oakdale and Brittleleaf. Hopefully they will have found a safe place close to the ruins, likely on the eastern side. Be swift, for I fear the worst, and bring caution with you. That's likely to be a bad place. All right, so we're going to head down the Southern Greenway here. Oops, we've had uh, another ring appear above this guard's head. Let's take a look at what he has to say, shall we? Stay a moment. If you are going into the heart of the brigands encampment here in Breland, can you search for the goods they have stolen from the surrounding farms and from shipments along the roadways? While Bria is not suffering terribly at the moment, it is only a matter of time before the current stores are empty. 
If the brigands continue their assault, then there will be no food, ale, or anything to appease the Bree folk, and then we will have much more to worry about. Will you not look for the stolen goods while out in their camp? Alright, there's one of the quests I was talking about. If we had grabbed that one, I'm sure his ring appeared when we headed over that way, and we would have those chests now to uh, get out of the camp, so... We will have to go back and see about getting those crates out of the camp. But first, we are going to continue down the greenway here to the south and head to the Vale of Andrath. And since we have not actually traveled this road before and that direction, we are going to actually uh, continue along and I'm going to show you the length of the route. It's not too long a run. So we will continue on past as the Greenway crosses the Great East Road. And we'll go on further down here and see if we can't find Had to sneeze there. See if we can't find his two scouts who should be along the eastern side here. And once again, since we've never been this direction I will actually travel along the road that way. Take a quick peek on the map. You see we're heading down here through to the Vale of Andrath, right down here. It's an area that we thought um, whenever Dunland and Eregion and that area all opened up, kind of thought that the fort down at the end of this thing would open up as well. As it is right now, it's a gated area. Once you get into the fort, the road continues through it. But you can't go through it because there's a gate at one end. And we thought with a Region and all, we were kind of hoping that uh, this would open up. But so far, it's not to be. At least I don't think it is. I haven't actually been this way since uh, a Region and all came into the game. And that's been quite a while now. That was the area they added whenever Moria came in. Not too many things along the northern part here. You've got some Nikabreakers. You've got some wild boars. Typical stuff for the wilds of Bree here that you just have to kind of avoid a little bit. Or fight, whichever way your preference lies. You'll see the little areas on the map showing up, the icon showing up, where I could be collecting ash branches. Unfortunately, as you see right up here, my tool has broken. Definitely before I play next time, I'm going to get Glenorin, my metalsmith, to make me a uh, far superior set of tools for the cause. Now, as we get closer here, we should shortly see the fort area appearing. Ahead of us. When we see that, I'm going to move over to the eastern side. There we go. It's finally popping in. Let's move on over to the eastern side here and see if we can't find a camp or something that his people may be in. Now, right up here, you also want to be careful because. You may have seen these stones right up here as we were leaving the road. This right here is one of the entrances into the Barrow Downs. You don't actually have to continue all the way around the road and go in that way. You can actually come right up here and enter into the Barrow Downs through the side. But as you see, it's guarded by what, 18th level, 21st level. You've got some Barrow Whites here that you would have to get either fight or get through. And there's an entrance way right there that once you get past them, you can go through there and you pop out a Barrow on the other side of that hill. It's kind of a shortcut to the Southern Barrow Downs. In and out. The unfortunate part is, is that once you get on the other side, you're also in the middle of 21, 22, 23 level Barrow White. So right now it's not exactly 
a shortcut that we can use. Need to be a few more levels under our belt. Um, let's continue on up the hill here. Hopefully, we are looking for quest rings. To see if we can find Greenbrier's men. It's been a while since I've done this quest, so I'm not exactly sure where they'll be, whether they'll actually be inside the fort or whether we might find them outside along the edges here. I'm gonna kinda scoot along the edge seeing if I can see any quest rings pop up which I definitely have not yet. And if that doesn't help then we may have to actually go back down to the ground and proceed into the ruins. Alright, nothing showing up on the map. So I'm going to run along this cliff. To, oh, we get to a point where we can go down. And as you see, we've got a bunch of half orcs. First half orcs you'll see in the game. Southern Brawlers and the Goblin Men from Sharky's area. Okay. Let's see. We can get past these guys. hoping is that the guards aren't just posted along the roadway there and if we had stuck to the roadway we would come across them. That would be unfortunate if that should turn out to be true. But I don't believe so. I think everyone along this road is a southerner or a half-orc. Okay. I'm also going to travel right over to this other side and we will go up this path and make sure that... Ah, there we go. There's a ring up there. Let's go up this path and see if they've actually established their camp up there. Oh, silly me. That is the east side. I was getting my east and west backwards. This is the east side, so that would make sense. That's where they would be. Okay. Let's see if it's possible to get up here on top. From right outside here. Hopefully be a quick little jump onto the ruins. There we go. Watch your brittle leaf and watch your oakdale, just like he had asked. It looks like brittle leaf's the one that has the quest ring, so we'll talk to him right quick. What do you need? Grimbriar finally sent support. We had been wondering if he had forgotten us. When we arrived, we found a far larger force than anticipated, and knew that we could not desert the post. Already we've seen these fiends performing terrible acts. We was, must remain resolute and carry out our duties. Hmm. We've completed yet another deed known to the men of Bree. Alright, we've gotten a few more turbine points. We have gotten a title, which I believe is known to the Minabri, perhaps. There we go. Known through Bree. Minabri are beginning to learn your exploits and assistance. And you get these. I'm sure this is one of those deeds where it's like you have. Uh, ah, okay. So it's known to the Minabri. You have to have a certain amount of experience. You have to have achieved acquaintance reputation with them. And that we finally have. And we've started 
friend to the men of Bree. Which will have, I'll take a look at our reputation chart here in a moment. And when we get the friend, you get the Bree friend, you get more turbine points, and you get a travel discount from all the stable masters in the Bree area. Does it show us our reputation? It does. Here's the men of Bree. We've got 700 points that get us to acquaintance. According to this, we need, what, 20,000 points now to get up to friend level, if I'm reading that correctly. Yes, we need 20,000 points to get to, f to uh, the next level with him. Let's see what quest he has. Might I take a moment of your Sharky's time? Lieutenant. There is a leader among these fiends, Sharky's Lieutenant in Andrath. I have seen him, a burly fellow, a man, not a half-breed. He makes his lair high in the southwestern ruins and barks orders out to all these fools. He must be dealt with. Perhaps, without a leader, the brigands will not recover, buying time for more to join the fight against this sharky. Alright. So now we're letting quests that are actually on our level. Might I take a moment Grimbriar was right to send us here, but we figured more support would arrive once he realized that we could not submit reports. Your news of what is happening in the north makes it clear that these brigands are moving in with the caravans they let through. Those unlucky enough to not have the coin to pay for passage are treated without civility, their lives forfeit, and their goods claimed by these vile creatures. Your information confirms what we have feared. These swarthy fellows among their numbers of half-orcs, foul beasts. The time has come to strike back for every life these beasts have claimed. Strike out into the ruins and scourge this enemy clean. I will see you paid handsomely. So they want us to kill 20 brigands and half-orcs in there. Which won't be difficult to do if we're going after the lieutenant. We'll have to go through quite a number of them. And what does Mr. Oakdale have to say? I'll speak with Must you a have. Some caravans and drivers have enough coin to press through the blockade here in Antrath. We have seen this happen a few times. The price they pay is steep and drives prices of their goods ever higher in Breland. Those caravans unwilling or unable to pay the price the brigands demand. Well, their brigands are claimed by the their shipments are claimed by the brigands, and this practice must cease. I implore you, Hobbit, search the ruins and the enemy within for any of these goods. They are the lifeblood of our homeland, and without this trade we will begin to see true suffering. Nickerbreakers. Would you do something for me? Since we have made our way to the Vale of Andrath, I have been plagued by terrible dreams and, unaccustomed as I am to the wild, unbearable noises from the nearby swamp. My sleep, when it comes, is fitful at best, and I fear it is days since last I closed my eyes for more than an hour. I wonder, could you do me the favor of clearing out the Nickerbreakers that make the swampland to the north and east their home? I would be ever grateful for your help. All right. I hope we get a title called Ambien for this one. Might I take a moment of your time? Southern Fiend. A moment in a lowered voice, if you would. Watcher Brittleleaf need not hear this, as it would only drive him to do something foolish, I fear. Within the ruins I have seen another terror, worse than any of the leader of men, a leader of these half-breeds. He stands taller than most, and is fearsome sight to behold. Should you run afoul of this fellow, I would advise fleeing toward the hills, but you have the appearance of an adventurous hobbit, so I'll offer you a reward for de de the defeat of this menace. The half-orc dwells just inside the gate from the south, the deepest depths of their encampment. So we've got one to kill the half-orc leader as well. Alright, we've collected quite a few quests now that take place here in the south and the ruins of the Andrath. So that is where we will be picking up. Right over here should be the area that we're going to have to get to to get to Sharky's Lieutenant. So as you see, we've got quite a bit of the fort to travel through to get there. Although with our sneaking ability, perhaps we will not have to worry about it quite as much as some other classes would have to. So, that is where we will leave off for this time. I am going to say goodbye to you. 
have a quick smoke by the fire here with the watchers and we will see you next time hope you've enjoyed it thank you for watching and we will see you then